You'll be happy to hear that maxing the Naboo raid's a good idea. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zareth spends way too much time making a thumbnail for a video, but we're going to talk about the Naboo Raid. It's been out for a while, folks. It's not going to be here for that long, so I wanted to give you the best four teams to build. If you're still building, honestly, I don't really recommend it too much, uh, like working really hard on the raid, because we're probably a little over the halfway point-ish to the next raid. They haven't announced the next one, though it's probably all of the Peridia ones, all of those, but one way or another, folks, we've, we've got four teams here that I think are going to make a lot of people happy. One of the things I see in my videos and the comments, people are constantly saying, man, I hate this raid. I hate it so much. I hate having to reset and restart the raid. It's so frustrating, blah, blah, blah. All these, and they, a lot of these people are the people who enjoy raids in general. And so I don't really, it occurred to me, I don't really reset my, my raids at all. I, I get 10.8 million, something like that. And I call it good, I do four attacks, and maybe they take a little bit, but it's less than an hour, and then I'm done for the week. And whether you want to put that investment in or not is on you. But I wanted to show you the four teams that I'm using, and kind of just how to use them. And then I'll link the videos of like how to mod them and approach them in the video description, uh, so that you guys can also have that available. So, uh, let's, let, let's jump to it though, folks. Uh, well, first, I do want to... Shout out my patrons, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for your support, guys. I really, truly appreciate every single one of you. I couldn't do this without you. Thanks, guys. Truly, for real, you're amazing. And if you want to support this channel for free, folks, all you gotta do is hit that thumbs up button, like, subscribe, comment. Let us mount the algorithm. Let's let's mount it like it's 1985. That Did the algorithm exist then? I think it might have not existed so okay let me show you guys the the teams first here real quick right quick so we've got the frogs and then we've got a keller and beck team this keller and beck team is a conglomeration folks this is so the frogs are obvious we're actually gonna spend like almost no time talking about them we we get 2.7 on each of these guys zero relic nines are necessary I do have a couple relic nines mixed in but not that many most of them are relic eights and so gun guns are a good team on their own Keller and Beck and company all good characters and, and you know we have the master Qui-Gon and Padawan Obi at relic nine for obvious assault battle reasons but Keller and Beck lead I'll show you guys in a minute then we have Luminara that this is the one is the this one's the toughest sell I think I mean Master Yoda, easy because he's a requirement at eight. Katie Mundy does an enormous amount of damage. Yeah, and if you bought the light speed bundle for him, you're good to go. Or if you're an old school player, either way. Uh, and then Kit Fisto and Luminar, those are the two probably worst characters in this whole group. And if you bought the Hyperdrive Bundle, though, you would have them at Relic 5, including Plo Koon. Plo Koon you want at Relic 8 anyways, or at least you did up until... Uh, now now we have new fleet issues moving forward, so uh, we, we'll be making videos about that as well, punishing one, etc. Uh, so don't go anywhere, well, you can after this video, but um, yeah, those those ones are tough to do. Plo Koon wants to relocate, though, typically. And then, of course, Darth Maul and Darth Sidious, they both are required at Relic 7 anyways, not too much of a stretch to get them higher. And then, uh, it, just other droids. That, that that you're going to be using, and uh, this one's this one's super easy. So, uh, th those are the teams, the four teams. Let's uh, let's jump in. I'm gonna show you guys the teams. I'm gonna show you a screenshot of the thumbnail for the video that you guys can look at for in look at for in the video description, guys. It's way too late. I need to go to bed. All right. So first, we've got the Keller and Beck team, and uh, so that. <laughs> Basically, guys, all of the modding for all of these is going to be found in uh, on these videos. But what you really want, what you really, really want is, I mean, Keller and Beck wants a ton of protection. But then uh, pretty much everyone else just wants tons of health and speed and offense. Like, that. that's what they want. Health, speed, and offense. So, uh, let's, let's, get, let's get this kicked off here. Oh, good. Now they're, they're moving. Oh, here, let's take... 
took off this this thing yeah yeah okay so the thing you want to do here folks of course is you just do the aoe with padawan obi-wan right away if you have good enough you have if you have good enough stats on him which I, I think i just have him he's not specially modded i only change mods for two of these teams guys uh but you're basically just gonna want to kill all the stuff the thing the thing that i'm always uh i'm always wanting to point out on these is look at their turn meter guys and try to take out the ones that have a lot of turn meter if you have a mass assist that you can take a lot of turn meter out on someone then it's probably going to be a good idea. Now, I, I like adding Shock T here. I know that some people are saying that the Relic 9 team with Queen Amidala lead and then they add R2-D2 uh, with, with the Lover Boys, uh, with, with and uh, not Anakin, uh, the two guys who led up to Anakin, though, uh, with, with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, that's a really consistent win. Uh, great. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me that I didn't spend to get Relic 9 on R2-D2 or uh, Queen Amidala, but one way or another, this is Relic 8 team. It's fairly approachable, and using Keller and Beck as the lead just makes it so easy. Now, you see I saved my AoE from, from uh, Padawan Obi. I'm just going to call him Pow here, folks. But, uh, you know, that's just so we can get to the next phase. And then eventually, you can see we have the little arrow movement thing on their leader. So yeah, that's always the middle that we select. You guys can go find the videos where I describe these in more detail. But I just wanted to show you how easy some of this is. Okay, so he doesn't have any of his, doesn't have any of his uh, buffs, right? They, they stripped his buffs. I decided... We just do the AOE anyways, because otherwise we, it, you know, we're always looking. It's a race for for enrage, right? We don't. We want to get past. You can see the number on the top right hand corner, twenty eight percent. Every time we take a turn or they take a turn, I think that's when the counter goes up. And so we want to eliminate those characters as quickly as possible. Now I do have POW modded to have a lot of offense. One thing I really like though about Shock T, so I was saying a lot of people like R2-D2. I don't use him in this raid actually. I love Shock T here because she calls an assist. She gets a ton of turn meter, so she's constantly cycling through. And because she hits back, it, she doesn't really contribute too much to the damage specifically. But what she does bring to the table is... Uh, she's giving everyone else offense up. Whatever she counters and hits, then the whole team gets offense up, which is something that you kind of need. It's a, it, that's also a good idea. So we're we're just moving through here, folks, and I think you'll be surprised at how how well we're doing on the enrage counter or timer by the time we get to that final stage. So these are the ones that I don't actually remod for, folks. These are the actual mods that I keep on this team. Uh, so just like maxed out protection with some speed on Keller and Beck. And then uh, maybe I do. Do I remod for Shock T? No, she's actually, she's not that fast or very well modded. But she does fine here because you just, everyone else takes the hits, you know? Mass assist, try to kill that stupid Droidica. We actually don't know if he's stupid or not. Decided to call the mass assist. Let's just take that dude out. I want to do basics with Queen Amidala. The AoE never seems to help that much. I do it when I think I can kill or at least maim a few things with it. But typically I just do a basic with her or I call the mass assist. And then Shock T usually just calls POW. So, I mean, we're trying to set up a situation where Pow is able to just get his AoE going, right? And remember, folks, that a lot of times you want to just take the low-hanging fruit. Like that. Something that's injured, a lot of times you, you can't, like, work toward injuring something. You're not like, oh, I'm going to just knock all of them down. Because if once they take a turn, they've done your damage. In a way, them taking a turn is them doing like, like it's damaging your enrage timer right like that the counter you need to you need to get past it obviously but okay so all we got i think this is the last 
This is the last phase that we gotta get through before... Yeah, okay, so if, once we get past this, so we're, the rage timer is at, what, 68%? And, honestly, when I was using Queen Amidala lead and uh, just the, the Lover Boys plus R2-D2 on this, at least at this level, I, I would have to restart, like, three or four different times. So... And this is this is a pretty good pretty good change. I, ever since I started using this team, I've, it's never even been close. You just take the AOEs. You take smart AOEs with POW. You don't just use them. Okay, so see how Qui Gon he, he he could do his AOE there and just take out the guy. You could get greedy. You could target someone else. So then POW assists, and then the AOE takes care of the guy who was there. Um, who was already injured, called a mass assist on someone who has full turn meter from Keller and Beck, and from, from, Qu Qu Quadme. All right, so, that was, that was pretty nice, 85%. I think that's, that's actually one of the worst I've done since I started doing it this way. Uh, I think the, the time before was somewhere in the 60s, in fact, for the enraged timer. I don't, I don't know how I did this horribly, but, Anyways, I'm going to rob you of the opportunity to see the final score. Well, I'll fast forward and let you see the final score. Hold on. Boom. Got it. And here we are. Second team here, folks. Well, really the third team, because we've already done the gun guns. Uh, so now we've got the Luminara, the Luminara team. And the thing to keep in mind here, folks, is we're adding... So we're breaking up the original Keller and Beck team with all of the leftovers, right? Like, we used to have a split with Jedi, and uh, it, was, it was such a... It was an amazing split. The best split. But this is even better... As long as you get everyone to Relic 8, then you just get 2.7, and Kitty Mundy makes this so consistent. Now, people have told me that I'm doing it wrong, that I don't know what I'm doing on this, but I just never fail on it. I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, uh, people say they have to do resets, and so I, I just never have to. So, go watch my video. It's linked in the video, video description. Kieti Mundy replaces Qui-Gon here, and he's just so good here. Honestly, he's he's ri ridiculous. So, uh, let's let's get going, shall we? So, the idea here... Uh, Kieti Mundy doesn't do enough damage here to... to take pe people out in one shot usually unlike other videos that he was in uh, that, that's just how it works it, it's fine you'll get used to it uh the idea being don't do your kit fisto aoe until uh, so kit fisto is going to make your whole team faster and if you want to tailor your speed to that that's fine just keep in mind that you're gonna have to take a turn with kit fisto usually uh, well, you can do that, it, and, and then you don't have to waste a turn. But if, if your Kit Fisto's faster than their command droid, which he was in this instance, right? Um, he just does a basic. And then the next time around, he does his AoE, and you, you wrap around like that. So, um, anyways, I mean, to, to know how to do all these, of course, you want to watch the videos. But I do want to make sure you guys can see that, like, this is just... Uh, I, I do four attacks, and I, I call it good. I submit it, and... I, I get my guilds. My guild wants me to get 10 million. I don't blame them. I think that's a good goal, honestly, for a guild of our size and ambitions. And uh, so, yeah, we, we just move forward. Move forward here. So, just kill the droidicas first. I always wait to, even though I, uh, doing the AoE would have been nice, they're going to dispel here pretty soon with, the, with their guy. Yep. So... Now we just wait. Plo Koon's gonna give us all turn meter eventually. Oh yeah, healed there, I think. Was that the time? Kitty Mundy at some point during this one gets almost destroyed. I don't know exactly how or why. Like, I don't think I've ever had him close to dying except for the run I did today. But, you know, you play this game. It's, uh, it's always a crapshoot, right? Sorry, I said the C word, guys. That's what my, my kids call it. I love that they linked the the space battle to this because the space battle was so ineffective and stupid looking in the in in the movies. I love always loved the the space battles in Star Wars except for the Naboo one, which was just the dumbest. 
when when the best lines are from the the little boy who doesn't who has it on autopilot most of the time and then the the pilots themselves don't take credit for the final kill they're like we didn't do it it's uh it's like instead of relief they just have bafflement they're like wow how did those guys lose <laughs> it's, a, it's a sad story man yeah so uh anyways 44% here. All we have to do, get, do is get past one more tier. And this one's the easiest one because we get the locked buffs. And, uh, you know, one, once we get to the next level, as long as that shield is up, we're still good, right? And enrage timer is at 44%. Like, never really that close. And there we are, folks. You, you don't need to see the final, right? Here, let, let's just fast forward. I'll fast forward in person. How about that? Cool, 2.7, guys. All right, let's go to one last one. Here we are, folks. B2 is the leader you can find. Oh, that's not the right slide at all, is it? The bad guys. Yeah, this one This one you can do on auto, or at least uh, guided auto. So B2, uh, the, the thing about this one, folks, the, the other ones all translate nicely to lower levels and the lower tiers this one you have to have relic 8 on your team or it doesn't work because relic 8 you unlock a thing that lets b2 knock that enrage timer all the way down and i mean this is essentially you just the the my favorite part of this is when you do the aoa with stap and then everyone that you're that you hit has as the uh the yeah, the little red arrow that we just saw, and now it's gone again. Uh, once if they keep it, though, what happens is you you get into this really awesome loop of you hit one of them, or you do an AOE with with B two, and then they all counter and do ten percent of their regular damage, so like basically no damage. And then because all of them countered, it's going to trigger B two again, and he's going to do his AOE. And then they're all going to hit again, and you can get into this awesome loop where uh, you just have. You just have B2 calling his two Sith friends to assist, and then all the remaining B2s frantically trying to shoot and doing ineffective damage to Magna Guard. So, yeah, guys, the, these splits that that to me this is this is the most efficient way to do it. I, I know that you may not want to do 10 million. You might want to do more than that. I know that I'm not like, you can watch these videos. I, I bet, I bet some people could find all kinds of flaws. There's even people who find flaws in things that don't have flaws. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I feel bad for you, but it's, <laughs> it's whatever, man, we, we can all, we can all get past it. I think the, the one frustrating thing about this fight sometimes, and it's never a loss factor, but it is to, it makes the take longer is Sometimes they do their AoE and Maul gets the little retribution arrow thing. I, I keep forgetting what that debuff is called. But yeah, see the thing that all the all the droids have on them right now? Um, and then he just never takes a turn. For whatever reason, like it just slows his turn meter gain to the point where he doesn't take a turn for a really long time. And because whenever he assists, he's only doing 10% of his damage, it takes you a while. To actually get through some of these, but usually Darth Sidious he gain he has bet better turn meter gain mechanics, and Sidious is able to uh, he's able to do some good damage at least, and he kind of carries it. I've I've never had to reset this one, guys. Never had to reset this one. Once you get the modding right, so go watch the video that's linked in the video description, and you're good to go, man. Like this one. Get, get the requisite modding and relic levels. And this one is just, you don't have to know much. Just spam the AoEs, basically. Like, you really, really can just uh, hit auto and, and have a decent shot at winning. I, I personally prefer to just knock this out. I've, I always have this strange fear of... What what happens if I if I leave for half an hour and I come back and I don't pass? Like what what happens? Or what if I don't submit it in time and I'm uh, you know I, I'm bereft of the points I was previously promised? 
But yeah, the, this one's this one's great. And uh, for for me, I, I love the Grievous team quite a bit. It's a lot of fun, and so it's fun to fun to be able to finally have an excuse to work on B2 and Magna Guard a little bit more than usual. And Stap, of course, uh, Stap is probably the least essential out of all of these. Well, he, he's better than than Mauler Sidious, but you know what I mean. Maybe you might know what I mean. Yeah, but I mean, this is also potentially the most boring of all of them, in my opinion, because it's just B2 carries the team. See, look at how he just gains all this turn meter. Look at look at this loop we're in. It's, it's marvelous. It's so wonderful. Poor frantic B1s just circling the drain here. It's wonderful. It's magical. The thing that always makes me laugh is whenever Maul is supposed to kill someone with a hundred for a hundred percent turn meter, he almost never goes right again, right away again. Like other, there are other mechanics in play that that give other characters more than one hundred percent turn meter. It's uh, it's it's amusing on on some levels at least, but. Uh, anyways, folks, the, I, I think we've, I think you've, you've seen this enough. Uh, go, go watch the actual uh, other video. Let's fast forward a little bit. You guys can see the the grand finale here. And it's not a fluke, you know. Uh, this is, the, this is, this is science, guys. That's the sci scientifical. All right. You can quote me on that. I mean, I wouldn't advise you doing that, but you can. Like that, you're you're most likely an adult, and even if you're not, you still retain free speech, right? Probably, depending on where you live. But anyways, folks, there it is. And why don't we go real quick because we've already gone over our time. Anyways, I'll show you the final results of uh, my raid. I, you know, I got I got this knocked out in what, like 45 minutes, I think, something like that. So yeah, here's here's the my game. I was not prepared to do this. This is all this is all off the cuff, as they say, which is nice. The cuff prefers not to have that much pressure on it, anyways. Uh, but you can see another happy landing, 10.8 million. Last time, apparently, I got slightly more. What? I definitely got the exact same score last time, so I think the game is just being selfish, guys. It's being a shellfish. That's so weird. I don't know what I got. Anyways, folks, I'm leaving you. Oh, I, I guess I should point out, too, just as proof of concept, you see? I still have one battle left. I got 10.8 million, one battle left. You're welcome. I hope this is helpful. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, I hope you prevail. Take care, folks.